beautiful day on the island of Sodor as Thomas was bowling in with his passenger train. Just then, Percy opened. Hey, Percy. What's up? Sir Tom had wants all of us to meet at the sheds for a meeting. Okay, let's go. I wonder what he wants all of us for. And the two skimmies puffed away. By the time they got there, the other engines were already at the sheds. Um, what did you want to talk about, sir? Sir Topham began his speech. My dear engines, I have some bad news. Queen Elizabeth II died last night at Balmoral Castle. She wanted to come to our railway for the last time before she passed away. After hearing that, the engines were depressed. They couldn't believe that Queen Elizabeth II had died. That's what Thomas piped in. Is there anything we can do? At the moment, there isn't much we can do. But try to get some rest, okay? We have a busy day tomorrow. And with that, Tom Topham had gotten his car and drove away. After the others left, the five engines in the shed found it hard to sleep. They couldn't stop thinking about the Queen's death. By now it was morning, and the engines were tired, but they knew that they had to get their jobs done. As Thomas was shuffling on his branch line, the children were singing the Queen's National Anthem, but none of that made him feel better. Just as the passengers were getting out of the coaches, Thomas noticed Sir Topham hat. Thomas blew his whistle to get his attention. Sir, are you sure there's nothing we can do? Well, the family of the Queen asked me to have you and Percy pull a train with the Queen's coffin in it, with children singing. The train will go to the next station and another engine will take the train back to England. Thanks, sir. I'll go get Percy. The day finally came. The workmen loaded the coffin into a clarabelle. The children began singing, and Percy covered up the back of the train. Why can't I pull the train? I'm bigger than James. Shut it. It's time. The train ride went very smoothly, but Thomas felt sad again. His driver tried to make him feel better. Thomas, it's okay. Don't cry. That night at the sheds, Thomas was was a little sad. Even though he got to take the the queen around Sodor, he still felt sad that the queen was now gone. But the other engines tried to make him feel better. Don't worry, Thomas. At least we saw the queen two times. Yeah, and I'm sure she will miss us as well. And if you still feel sad, don't feel afraid to talk to us about it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I'm sure that Queen Elizabeth II is watching over us. <laughs>